All right, so you must have seen the leaked images of the GoPro 10 Black along with the packaging which has the specs on it. And based off the leaked images, we can tell that the design of the GoPro 10 will be identical to the Hero 9. But GoPro will also be releasing a new accessory along with the Hero 10 Black. So from the FCC page, we can see that on August 8, 2021, GoPro has registered a new product or accessory which is the grip. So let's take a look at a few documents about the product just to see what we can know about it. So let's take a look at the label document and even the test report. Alright, so this is the label artwork and basically it's a sticker that will be on the product which has all the certifications and the code names. So the code name for the model is ACVT1 and here it says input 5V 3 amps and output 5V 2.4 amps. So that's a clear indication that the grip itself has an internal battery which can be used to charge the GoPro or additional accessories and it's made in China. And now let's take a look at the test report. So the product type is a grip. So I believe this could be similar to the GoPro Karma grip but without the stabilizer of course. And let's see what more can be identified. So again, in the product description, it's a grip and here it says RF transmission. So, so definitely it's called a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi module which will be used to communicate with the camera. And here we can also see the specs for the antenna. So 2.4 GHz and it's got a gain of about 0.36 dBi. And here it says the grip supports Bluetooth so along with Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth as well. So when you use the GoPro app, you have to turn on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth in order to communicate with the camera. So it seems like the grip can also be used to change settings on the camera. And here we can see that the model or the grip has a 3.6 volt DC battery and it's got a capacity of 4,900 milliamp power. So that's 4.9 amps. And it's a lithium ion battery that can output at 5 volt 3 amps. And the grip has a USB type C port. So from the hints, we can make out that the grip has an internal battery and it's got a significant amount of capacity, roughly about 5000 milliamps. So definitely this can be used to shoot for longer durations with the Hero 9 or the Hero 10 Black, especially when shooting in 5K or 4K. And now that the Hero 10 has 5.3K at 60 FPS, so I believe that's where the grip is more targeted towards. So to me, it seems like the grip will be similar to the GoPro Karma grip or without the stabilizer. And if you have ever used the GoPro Karma grip, you'll know that the grip itself has an integrated battery which powers on the stabilizer and the camera. So obviously the Hero 9 or even the Hero 10 don't really require a gimbal as such. And especially with the max lens mod, you definitely don't need a stabilizer unless you're shooting in low light. And that's all I have to share in this video. Currently there are no pictures of the grip itself, but I believe in a few days time, we will see the leaked images and the final product itself when GoPro will launch the Hero 10 Black. And if you found the information in this video interesting, you could subscribe to my channel and like the video. So thanks a lot for watching.